everyone, today I'm going to be doing a makeup haul. I went to two different places to buy my makeup. The first one is CVS. I went to CVS a few weeks ago and got two CoverGirl products. I've already opened them and have been trying them both out because I did purchase them a couple weeks back. And the first one that I got is this mascara. As you can see, I have already opened it. And I couldn't put it back in its packaging to show you guys because for a mascara, the wand and the bottle are separated when they're in the packaging together. So I will just show you the packaging and then the bottle separately. So I got the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. And here is the packaging, what it looks like in the store if you want to find this in the store and purchase this mascara. And then this is what the mascara tube looks like. It is this bright orange mascara tube. It says CoverGirl on it and then Lash Blast Volume. I had an old CoverGirl mascara and it was this orange one but I completely used it up and I love that mascara so much. It probably was my favorite mascara that I've ever used. So I decided to finally repurchased this and I love it. I've been using it recently and I know why I used to use it all the time and it was my favorite mascara because it works amazingly. If you want, I will go ahead and show you the wand. It is this plastic wand. It's very big and it has some nice bristles there. I've been needing to repurchase this for a while now. I finally got around to it. I am really glad that I did because I really like this mascara. I think this was around $8.99, close to $10 actually, maybe $9.99, but it is a fantastic mascara, so it's worth it. And then the other CoverGirl product that I got is a face product. This is a concealer. It's called the Invisible Concealer, and I got mine in the shade Fair. So it's it right there because I am very pale. I just took it out of its packaging, so this is what the tube looks like and it has a doe foot applicator for applying it so there is that right there I think that doe foot applicators on concealers are really easy to work with they're just easy to pop out of the tube and then dab onto any blemishes that I have and then rub it into my skin and I actually used to use the CoverGirl True Concealer I really enjoyed using that concealer they don't make that anymore I think they discontinued it a while ago so when I was looking for that concealer I stumbled upon this product and I thought that it looked really similar to the True Concealer so this one is just the invisible one instead of True it says invisible concealer but it's essentially the same thing and it works exactly the same as what I used to use I think this was around six or seven dollars I originally said that I only have two places to show you where I got stuff from I forgot about Kmart I got essential products that I needed from Kmart they are my elf eyelid primers I've been looking for these since the end of the summer. Every time I go to Kmart to repurchase these, they never have been there. And then I finally saw a sign which said that they were coming out with a new e.l.f. eyelid primer and it would be in new packaging, so that's why they hadn't had it in stock for forever. So finally I got it and it looks like the same old packaging. The only thing they changed is they made the lettering silver instead of black, but it is the e.l.f. eyelid primer and up here it says new, so I guess this is new packaging, but it's just in the color sheer, so it looks like this if you've never seen it before. It's a primer with a doe fit applicator, so like the concealer that I showed you, it is very easy to apply. This is a dollar, this is from the e.l.f. essential line, and I did get two of them because I run out of these all the time. Even though I only have two here to show you, I already opened the third one that I bought when I bought these two, and I've been using the third one for a while now, so I have these two as my backups, but if you're looking for an eyelid primer, I would highly suggest those because they work really well. On to the last place that I went, which was Ulta, and I'm going to pick up the Ulta bag now, but it is very loud, so I'm not going to talk when I'm picking it up. Here it is. It is just so crinkly whenever I touch it. I don't want to talk and you guys not be able to hear me when I'm trying to like get things out of this bag, so I'm going to show you the bag in all its glory, and then I'm going to take everything out and show you all the products I got, but this bag is so cute. It's all winter themed. I just thought that the bag was really pretty and I wanted to show you guys because it's so cute for this season. I got makeup from Essence, NYX, and Maybelline, so I'm going to show you that right now. I'll start off with Essence because I got a few things from that brand. The first thing that I got is a face product, so I have two face products 
in this video. I normally don't buy like a ton of concealer or anything like that, except I do like experimenting with different face products and seeing what works best for me. So I decided to branch out and try a new item that I have never tried before. It is the Essence Match 2 Concealer. I got this because I thought it would maybe similar to the Sheer Cover Duo Concealer that I have. I love that concealer. I use it sometimes when I want to wear face makeup. I don't wear face makeup every day. I don't wear like concealer, powder, foundation every single day, but sometimes I do when I am just getting annoyed with my blemishes and my skin. I got this for under the eyes and maybe to see if it will cover any blemishes, but it looks very similar to the Sheer Cover Duo Concealer, and I opened it up and it looks like it's really, really creamy. I haven't tried it yet, but if you can see that, it has two colors, so it has the darker color right here and the lighter color. This was very inexpensive. This was, I think, $4. It was $3.49 plus tax, so that was very cheap and inexpensive for a concealer. Moving on to eyeshadow. I got two Essence eyeshadows. These were ridiculously inexpensive. I think they were $1.19 each. I like the brand Essence. I have a few other eyeshadows and eyeliners from there, so from what I've tried from there, I really like it. It's quite inexpensive as well, so that's an added bonus. So I got these two eyeshadows and they are just Essence eyeshadows. It doesn't say anything else, but they are the huge single eyeshadows and they are very big for $1.19. You're getting a lot of product for what you pay for. This one is in the color Cappuccino Please 58 and it says it has shimmer effect. I will go ahead and show you the color. They're kind of hard to open, but yeah. Here is the color. It's just this really pretty like shimmery light color. I'll actually go ahead and do a swatch for you. Why not? So that is the color right there. It's just a very light color. I thought it could serve as a pretty lid color with the other eyeshadow that I bought from Essence. So this is more of like a crease color. It's a deep chocolate brown and here's what it looks like. The name of this is right there. What is the name? It is Get Ready. Here is what the color looks like. Just opened up for you. I'll do a swatch of this one as well. Oop. A few swipes right there and that is the color. It is extremely pigmented. I think that these two are a lovely combination. The pigmentation is fantastic. Moving on to another Essence eye product that I got, but this one is a liner. This is another repurchase. This is the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil and it is in the color Black Fever. This is a highly pigmented, smooth, dark, dark liner. It is so black and I will go ahead and swatch it right here. That is how pigmented it is. It is just so black and very, very creamy. So I already own this and I wanted to get a backup one because everything on Essence was on clearance. So I think this was like two or three dollars. It was an amazing deal. I really wanted to get another one just to have as a backup. The last Essence product that I got is another eyeliner. This is different from the one that I just showed you and this is the Kajal Eye Pencil. So it looks like this. It's more of a pencil than a marker because the other one looked more like a marker. So I will go ahead and swatch this for you right there. So this is what that looks like. I think that this was a dollar or two dollars. It was on that crazy clearance sale just like all the other products were. So I wanted to try this eyeliner out. I haven't tried this one like I've tried the other one and I just want to see how it works. You can never have too many eyeliners. That's what I always say. I have probably close to 20 eyeliners, maybe more than 20. I can never have enough of them. I wear them almost every single day with the eye makeup that I do every day, so I can always use another eyeliner, especially if it's inexpensive like this. Moving on to the NYX product that I got. All of the NYX makeup was on sale as well. I looked on the website before I went to Ulta, and NYX said that they were having the buy one get one 50% off deal. Also, all of their single eyeshadows were $2.49. However, when I went into the store, the single eyeshadows for this brand were marked for $5. So I thought each of them was $5 and I had all these colors picked out, but I don't want to spend $5 on each one even with the deal. That would have been kind of expensive for me since I wanted them to be $2.50 and then get the deal. That would be very cheap. So, when I went to the register and was ringing up all my products, she rang this lone single eyeshadow up 
as 250, 249, so it's close to 250. I could have gotten all the single eyeshadows that I picked out, but I put them all back, so I only got this one lonely color, but I think it's a really pretty color, so I'm glad I got this. I got this in the color True Taupe, and this is what it looks like. I'll go ahead and open it up and show you the color. So it is just this taupey light brown matte shade. I really wanted some matte eyeshadows, like some nice brown matte eyeshadows, but I thought that this was a really pretty color, so I decided to go with this one out of the bunch of NYX eyeshadows that I had picked out. I'll go ahead and swatch it for you. So it is right there. It's just a nice light brown. It's not that dark and deep, so it doesn't show up that well on a swatch, but I think it'll show up better my eyes and with some primer and a base underneath it, but I think that this will be a great crease color or like a great transition color because it's very light and it's matte. Moving on to another deal that I got, it was a Maybelline sale that they had going. It was buy one get one 50% off just like the NYX stuff except I only got one NYX item. The other item that I got with the deal I don't have to show you because I bought a mascara for my mom. It was the Maybelline Lash Stiletto Mascara. I've never tried it, but that was around $10. It was like nine or ten dollars so I got my lip balm for 50% off this is the Maybelline baby lips tinted lip balm I got mine in the color peach kiss so it is in the orange and purple packaging and that is what the color looks like if you can see it. it's just like a nice nude peachy shade these are tinted lip balms it gives your lips some moisture with a subtle wash of color this is a repurchase because I bought a Maybelline Baby Lips a while back, and then I lost that one, and then I got another one. I used up that one's entire tube. I recently just emptied the whole thing. I used the very last swipe of it, I guess you could say. So I definitely need to repurchase this. I love using this as a lip balm. It smells like peaches, too, because that's the name, and whatever the names are, that's what they smell like. So. I really like it since it was $3.49 and it was 50% off that. That is all the items that I purchased at Ulta, but wait, there's more. I got samples with my purchase. I got two perfume samples at checkout. So first off, I got the Dolce & Gabbana scent. This is the Pour for Men. It comes in this fancy packaging and I have yet to open it as you can see, so I'm opening it right now on camera. So let me get this. And here is the perfume bottle. Ooh, fancy. I think this is what the huge actual size perfume bottle looks like, but I just got a little baby sample right there. So I think that this has a few squirts in it, so I'm going to try it out and see how I like it. I haven't heard anything about this perfume. It says, Explosion of Passion Oriental Vanilla. Ooh, I love vanilla. That's perfect for me. I didn't even know that this was a vanilla scent. I just knew that it was Dolce & Gabbana. It must smell good because Dolce & Gabbana is such a popular and expensive perfume. But I love vanilla perfumes and fragrances, so I'm excited to try this now. Also, the other perfume sample that I got is Taylor Swift's Wonderstruck. I love the packaging of this little perfume booklet. If I open this up, this is what it looks like inside, and that is the actual bottle right there. I've seen the bottle in Macy's and I think it smells pretty good so I've already smelled this but this is the sample right here. That concludes my makeup haul from Ulta, CVS, and Kmart. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!